Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer with ExploringLasVegas.com. I'm standing here today, guys, in front of the uh, garden. So that was funny. I just ran into one of my buddies over here. He's going over to the 18 Bin. The 18 Bin is right over here. They have a Sunday brunch with like Tech House and whatnot. I can hear the music thumping, thumping in the background. But this video is not going to be about that. It's going to be about the Las Vegas mail reviews. And I'm standing here in front of the garden, okay? And that is a drag show. And we do consider this kind of a men's show because it is uh, drag queens. And uh, it's not my number one on the list. But since I was over here, I figured I'd shoot the video for the uh, Las Vegas mail reviews. And uh, we'll talk about this uh, garden brunch here in a second. Uh, my number one on the list for the Ma Las Vegas mail, re mail reviews is going to be tough to beat Magic Mike. Uh, I do love that show. I actually have seen it a couple times when it was over at the uh, Hard Rock when that was around before it was the Virgin. The guy that runs the Sahara, he bought the rights to the show, I believe, and then they moved it over to Sahara, built up an entire theater just for that show, and it's well done. It's a performance. Uh, you get your, you know, you buy a ticket, you get your own seat, and there's like not really much tipping involved. It's it's a full-on show. It's a production. I mean, it's well done. They have guys on <coughs> drummers. They have guys. Uh, you know, they have a girl that rides like this horse, she's kind of the announcer, and the guys are really athletic, and it's, it's a fantastic show, I really enjoyed it. I would recommend that, probably as my number one show. Uh, my number two uh, Las Vegas mail review is Chippendales, okay? That's been around forever, it's over at the Rio still. Uh, during the, uh, the Cerveza sickness, they closed it, I wasn't sure if it was gonna get bought out and come back to the Rio, but that's where it ended back up, and it's doing really, really well. I took my girlfriend there a while back, and uh, I was really surprised how good it was, actually. Uh, they had Vinny from Jersey Shore, he was the headliner. He's not there all the time, but when he's there, it's a little bit more expensive and it's it's worth it it's a good show they do a really nice job they know how to they know how to put on a show over there and I was actually impressed of how good it was so that would be number two on my list of uh, shows would be Chippendales if you want to check one out here in Las Vegas number three is gonna be Thunder Down Under okay Another show has been around forever uh, over at the Excalibur Theater. It's got its own Thunder, um, you know, Thunder Theater, whatever they call it over there. I'm not sure what they call it exactly, but it's the Thunder something. And it's a good show, too. Um, it was funny. I was there watching it with my girlfriend and one of the guys in the show. They, they, what I like about Thunder is they come and walk right on your table and stuff. So you're kind of like, no matter where you sit, you're kind of in the action. You're, you're part of the show. And uh, one of the guys that works out at my gym, he sees me there and he's like, hey, he's like, hey, what's up? He was like running down our table and we were like slapping hands. It was pretty funny. So uh, that was cool. But uh, yeah, definitely a great production. You know, any one of the top three shows, ladies, uh, if you want to, you know, hit a good mail review in Las Vegas, those are going to be your top three. They're all ticketed. They all have, like, assigned seating, and um, they're all really good. In fact, I was over at uh, the, um, the one show over in uh, uh, Chippendales, and then I went and saw Thunder the same night with my girlfriend, and at Thunder, they had... Uh, um, you know, some of the girls that were at Chippendales were at Thunder too. So they went to the early show at Chippendales and the later show at Thunder. So maybe you want to do two and check that out. Now, number, uh, if you want to go down the list here, number four, we're, we're talking about uh, Aussie Heat. Okay, Aussie Heat was um, at the Mosaic Theater on the Strip, but that I think got bought out. That whole area is going to get demolished, be a big hotel now. I think the guy that runs a Golden Nugget is going to be doing that. And they moved it down here to the Fremont Street area. You can see I'm right here over behind me, maybe is uh, Circa. And it's basically right over next to Circa here. Uh, there's an area in the Strip. Um, that's kind of like a courtyard and they have the notoriety theater in there it's right right off Fremont Street right off the LEDs you walk by the Denny's and walk in go up the elevator and that's where Aussie Heat is and uh, that's a that's a cool show it's gonna be a little bit lower budget for people that are a little tighter on funds maybe you want to get a good show maybe you want to spend your night on Fremont Street so go to the Aussie Heat show we got packages bring you up there in a limo have dinner up there uh, go to the Aussie Heat show and hit some of the bars up there make that one of your nights out here in Las Vegas it's kind of a little bit less expensive than the strip and it'll be a pretty you know pretty good time it's different it's fun all right, so Aussie Heat, definitely a good show to check out. It's not the, the best production I've ever seen. There's only like maybe five, six guys, but it's funny and it's entertaining and, and the girls have fun and it's not super expensive. So that would, that's why um, Aussie Heat makes number four most. Now number five, could potentially be number four, but it's more geared toward the urban crowd. Uh, that is Vivica's Black Magic, okay? Uh, the Black Magic show is you know, obviously geared toward black guys, and it's a good show. They moved it to the new new theater right over here, actually. It's about a block over called the Lamar Theater, and it's got its own theater now, um, and it's cool. It's a nice theater. They got some seating up front. The guys are really active with the women. They get, you know, into the crowd, and you know, girls get up and stand and party with the guys, and uh, obviously, if you like black guys, and that's going to be your thing, probably the Black Magic will be your number one show, so uh, it's not that expensive, and, you know, we have packages of limos, dinners, nightclubs, etc. Make your Black Magic um, trip amazing, all right? So let's talk about um, the number six, I guess, through through eight shows, and those are going to be more like your drag shows, okay? And I'll put uh, the Garden Brunch here right behind me, uh, number six on my list, because it's a well-done production. You get a nicer meal, um, it's a higher-end production, you know, the guys 
um, that put this on do a really nice job. It's a cool venue. Um, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's a little bit higher end drag bunch than the number seven on the list. And you get a nice meal. They actually, or, you actually order your meal. They bring it to you, and uh, you can upgrade to a real nice drink package with higher end drinks and whatnot. It's just mimosas and uh, you know orange juice, which is orange juice and champagne included. And uh, that you know it, it's good. I mean, it, it's a good time. It's a couple of about two two and a half hours up here, or right out just north of Fremont Street. And like I said, we're just north of the or south of the Fremont Street here, and it's a good location. Plenty of parking in the lot here, and you come up here and have a nice time on a Sunday or Saturday. They do have a Thursday and Friday thing too at night too for the uh, you know the garden up here. So definitely take a look at the links below and uh, check out what we got going on for packages and tickets etc for the garden brunch. Uh, number uh, seven on my list, that's going to be Senior Frogs. That's going to be another big drag brunch, been around for a while. Um, you're going to find that there's you know a very similar type of queen, if you will, at both of these brunches. Uh, Senior Frogs is going to be a little bit uh, bigger scale. I think they have a little bit more seating capacity and they're going to be more like a buffet style. Um, you know, where you walk up and you get your food. They don't have like a guy serving uh, serving you, but there's a lot of people in there probably, that's why. It's about an hour and a half, two hour production, same type of thing. Um, it's very popular. It sells out pretty much on the weekends. Uh, I think they offer um, the drag brunch. I wanna say in the season they do Thursday through Sunday. Just check the links below. And they usually do like an 11 a.m. show and a 2 a.m. show, I think four days a week now. So it's popular enough where they're filling that place up there four days a week. So it's definitely a big hit, but I think I like this one a little bit better, but that's also a very good option. If you wanna stay on the strip, um, we have tons of packages for limos, uh, pools afterwards and different fun stuff to do, pole dancing, etc. cetera, uh, with the Senior Frogs Bunch. Now, um, number eight on my list, it's not really a male review, but it's a male strip club, and that's gonna be the Kings of Hustler, okay? It's the only male strip club left in Vegas. At one time, there was a Men of Sapphire, it's gone since COVID. And then we had the Men of Vegas at Rhino, that's gone since COVID. And now we have the Kings of Hustler, that's it, okay? So that's your only male strip club in Las Vegas, and it's a cool place. It. Uh, it's on the rooftop of the uh, Larry Flint's Hustler Club, and uh, the guys get you know pretty into the crowd, and you know it's a full-on strip club. You can go into the back room and get you know lap dances with the guys and stuff, just like a regular strip club. For females, it's for males. So it's not a full-on mayor review with signed seating and tickets. You pay 44 bucks, you get a ride there and entry. That's part of the deal. Or you can get a bottle service for a table up front and uh, get there early. It's busy on the weekends, especially in the season, and it's hard to get a seat unless you get there by like nine o'clock. Um, you know, nine ten o'clock at the latest, probably to get a seat. After that, it's going to be pretty much standing room only. All right, and the number uh, nine, it's not really a, uh, you know, a men's show. It is a men's show. It's a, you know, it's RuPaul's, it's at the Caesars, it's at the Flamingo, it's like RuPaul's uh, drag race thing. Um, we're going to be having tickets for that below as well. Um, you know, we don't um, do a ton with them. That's not one of like our more popular destinations. It's just kind of a show, but, uh, you know, we do sell tickets for that. We do have some different packages and whatnot that we are going to offer for that particular show this season. So keep your eye out for that. Uh, that's going to be more like an assigned seating show. Me personally, if you come to a drag show, I kind of like to be a little more interactive with the queens, the tip in and stuff. That's going to be a little bit more like an actual show. Uh, but it, you know, it's a, it's a good, uh, you know, it's a good experience as well. It's popular. It's doing pretty well. I know that it sells out on a fairly regular basis. So. Um Number nine on my list for the Las Vegas mail reviews. If you guys uh, have any questions about mail reviews in Las Vegas, I'm going to put my cell above. It's 773-459-8133. Make sure you hit me up and uh, do me a favor. If you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more good content about all the fun stuff to do in Las Vegas for your bachelor, bachelorette party, bottle service, etc. And uh, make sure you bang the notifications bell to be notified about my next video. I do appreciate it. I'm Brian Pfeiffer signing out here from The Garden Drag Brunch over here on Fremont Street East in Las Vegas. I'm looking forward to working with you out here. Let's talk soon.